All right, we have brought back in 2016 with the help of segment producer and intern and member Sam Miller, who is here today, Morality with Motomity. Uh, people really liking the return of Morality with Motomity, where we pose ethical and moral dilemmas to producer Lewis, gives us a sense of his moral compass or lack thereof. Today, we are going to deal with a question from Josh. Josh said, what if Lewis was put in charge of making the human population of Earth sustainable? How would he implement a strategy? Would it be moral to stop new births? Would it be moral to kill people when they've reached a certain age to avoid having to stop births? Lewis, explore this scenario. Population control. It is, uh, the, the, the planet is becoming unsustainable in this scenario, although we know we actually have plenty of room for way more people right now. Uh, what is the moral way to implement a sustainable population strategy? Well, that uh, there may not be a moral way to do that. Really? Right? I think you start with, and I don't think this is unreasonable, start with what China started with. Say you can only have one child per couple. I think that's a pretty good place to start. Limiting birth, in other words. So g given the options of, there's sort of two components to population, right? Uh, what's the death rate and what's the birth rate? These are, these are the sort of two main ways other than uh, establishing an outpost on another planet. These are the two main ways of controlling the population of the planet. And you're saying, rather than saying, okay, if you get to 95, that's enough life for you. We kill you so that we can control the population. You're saying we allow people to keep birthing children, but they, they, have, uh, they are allowed to birth one child. And of course, as we know, a birth rate of one per couple uh, actually does over the long term reduce the population. That's where you would start. I think that is the most sane, moral, and simple place to start. Is it simple though? Because as we, as we know from China, which has recently ended their one child policy, one child policies lead to number one, a gen sex based abortion, right? If you're going to have a daughter, well, well, the hold daughter on, may hold on. Okay. just uh, China's societal issues had something to do with that. That's that. I don't think that that would be the case everywhere. Why not? If people want, if people know that they're only allowed to have one child and they say, okay, just the, the way it goes, the sort of family line passes through male children, which is sort of another societal construct anyway. Right. Wouldn't you be more likely to, to abort a girl child as we have seen happen in China? Maybe some people would, would want to do that, but those are societal issues. And so. I don't think I don't think we should even discuss that because from a practical standpoint, I think clearly uh, having people stick with one child is the place to start. What scenarios would you find yourself being OK with a sort of once you've lived X number of years, that's it for you. We kill you. Well, I'm not big on that, <laughs> but really, <laughs> but <laughs> if we're talking about a, a situation here where everyone understands that there is overpopulation yeah. and that it is not sustainable right. and that we are all going to die if this persists, uh, well, then I guess morals change, right? Would there be any situation if morals are fluid, depending on the scenario that you're talking about, where the richest, the, the richest people would be able to pay? You know how we have carbon taxes? If you're polluting, you have a carbon tax. An overpopulation tax. If you're rich enough, you can pay to either stay alive if you've instituted some maximum age for people to control the population, or you can pay if you want to have more than one child. Do you think that there would be a solution there, or are you against the idea of giving to the rich in this way that would absolutely jeopardize the poor who would not have the ability to pay? That is a definite uh, no. I would not allow that because wow, uh, money is not going to solve. Uh, this sustainability problem, no matter what you do, uh, that because that's just uh, it's not an answer to the problem. And so I don't see how uh, more government revenue would help or revenue to to me. I don't maybe I'm the king of the world at this point, And that's why I'm deciding this. But um, I, I guess what people want to know is what happens when the one child thing isn't working. Yeah. And things are just so crazy that there needs to be a drastic reduction in population immediately. Right or everyone perishes. Do you ask for volunteers and then give payouts to the family for people willing to be to be killed in order to for the betterment of the planet? Uh, volunteering would certainly be an option. Really? I, why not throw it out there? If people would like to volunteer, by all means, if uh, that, I suppose, would help. 
So what do you do if, if you have to resort to extremes? What do you do? Do you start? Do you start a world war in hopes that it will eradicate much of the population? Now that certainly doesn't seem moral. Okay, so we've heard not. from Lewis. He would go the way of controlling birth. Let's take two days now to get feedback from the audience about ideas for population control, and then we will follow up on this on Thursday, as we like to do. Let's take a quick break. After the break, this is already up on YouTube, and it is doing very, very well. The real differences between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton explained in relatively simple English. That's after the break. Gamefly is sort of like Netflix for video games. They have over 8,000 new and classic games for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, Wii, and a bunch of other platforms. And you can play as many games as you want for one monthly fee. And if you find some games you want to keep, you can buy them for a low used price. There's never any due dates or late fees. And our audience can get a free 30-day trial at GameFlyOffer.com slash TDPS. The games are shipped directly to you with return envelopes included. There's no contracts, and you can rent games through the mobile app. Get the free 30-day trial for the David Pakman Show audience and support our show by going to GameFlyOffer.com slash TDPS.